BigQuery is Google's serverless, highly scalable, and cost-effective multi-cloud data warehouse. It's designed for business agility and is at the heart of our limitless data cloud. I'm going to provide you with an overview of BigQuery and discuss the latest developments and give you a sneak peek into our feature roadmap. My name is Brian Welker. I'm a director of product management on the BigQuery team at Google. I'll be joined in a bit by Jaime Tatis, Vice President of Data Strategy and Enablement at TELUS. Jaime and I will discuss their digital transformation and how they are leveraging the power of BigQuery. The promise of data analytics and artificial intelligence is undeniable. You can see organizational leaders understand that there's tremendous potential in harnessing the power of big data and machine learning to create compelling customer experiences, optimize operations, and get ahead in the marketplace. There is, however, a tremendous amount of difficulty involved in the process of becoming data-driven and AI-powered. In fact, a study from a few years ago found that only 20% of analytic insights actually delivered business outcomes. Another study found that only 10% of companies actually receive financial benefits from AI. At Google, we're very familiar with the challenge of creating value from data. For example, Google Search provides billions of people blazingly fast, highly personalized answers at limitless scale. And using the same big data and AI technology that sits behind the world's biggest websites, we've built a data cloud that helps you drive limitless innovation in your organization with a focus on being open, integrated, and intelligent. BigQuery is at the heart of Google's data cloud. It's a cloud data warehouse designed to meet the needs of all customers, from those who are just getting started all the way up to the biggest enterprises. You might know that BigQuery was the industry's first fully managed serverless cloud data warehouse. And we've continued to add new capabilities since the launch of BigQuery back in 2010. BigQuery was also the first cloud data warehouse to offer complete separation of compute and storage, giving customers flexibility and scaling. BigQuery offers broad SQL compatibility to make it easy for you to migrate to BigQuery. Advanced security features like fine-grained access controls and customer-managed encryption keys are built into BigQuery at no extra charge. Finally, BigQuery offers industry-leading high availability and durability. We've seen accelerated growth of BigQuery over the last few years. Customers have continued to grow their data footprint in BigQuery. A few years ago, it was hard to find a customer with a petabyte scale data warehouse. And now we have hundreds of customers with over a petabyte of storage in BigQuery. In addition to storage, the amount of query processing continues to skyrocket. On average, BigQuery is processing over 110 terabytes of customer data every second. We're also seeing increased adoption of BI Engine, BigQuery's low latency in-memory analysis services, with over 3 billion queries accelerated every month. The scale that BigQuery operates at is truly amazing. As amazing as BigQuery is, it's only one part of the solution. So we're investing in our partner ecosystem. We now have over 800 technology partners, including companies like Quantum Metric, Shape Security and Tracks, and hundreds of technology partners like Stream, MongoDP, and DBT Labs, who've integrated their solutions with BigQuery. Here you can see a quote from Henry Shuck, the CEO of ZoomInfo, who are leveraging BigQuery to provide their customers seamless access to business data and intelligence. I wanted to spotlight a few of our BigQuery customers. The first is Carrefour, a leading global retailer with over 12,000 stores in over 30 countries. Carrefour uses a data lake built on BigQuery to help data scientists focus their time on model development instead of data management. BigQuery not only enables advanced usage like data science, but also allows traditional data analysts to gain insights with the SQL tools that they're familiar with. 
The second customer I want to spotlight is ATB Financial. They serve over 800,000 customers through hundreds of bank branches, as well as digital banking options. In addition to migrating its extensive SAP backbone to Google Cloud, ATB chose BigQuery for their data analytics platform. Google Cloud and BigQuery has helped ATB save millions of dollars compared to its on-premises environment, and also realize millions of dollars in new business opportunities. Finally, TELUS is a large Canadian telecommunications company, and they're using BigQuery to overhaul their approach to managing and sharing information. To provide insight on this transformation, I'm pleased to welcome Jaime Tatis, Vice President of Data Strategy and Enablement at TELUS. Welcome, Jaime. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for having me. Great. Now, I, I know that TELUS is a household name in Canada, but people in other countries might not be as familiar with the company. Can you give me a quick overview of TELUS and describe your vision for data analytics? Of course. Uh, TELUS is a dynamic world-leading communications technology powerhouse with over 17 million customers' connections, spanning from wireless data, IP, voice, television, entertainment, video security, healthcare, and agriculture. We're driven by our social purpose, and we leverage global leading technology to enable remarkable human outcomes while supporting Canadians with superior technology and a global leading network that keep us connected to the people, resources, and information that make our lives better. We're accelerating our digital transformation by working closely with Google for a 10-year strategic par partnership to advance our adoption of GCP, modernize our core IT and network infrastructure, and migrate our on-premise IT infrastructure to the cloud for enhanced scalability and security while also achieving greater operational agility. Through this partnership, we're exploring co-innovation projects together with the goal to redefine how services deliver globally. Our vision is to enable Tel Telos to be a software-driven and cloud-enabled organization that is building technology platforms that can power solutions for our customers and enterprises globally. I understand you have some of the largest data sets in the world, but like many other companies, we're limited by data silos and the high cost of data management and governance. Uh, tell us a little bit about your journey to overcome these challenges. Uh, well, Brian, as a company that has been operating for over 30 years with increasing verticals and growing acquisitions, we needed a special focus on executing a data strategy that leverages the best of technology, that efficiently uses data and analytics and AI as a main differentiator, fueling our customer experience leadership and product set superiority. To become data-driven, companies cannot make holistic decisions within data silos and with our proper agile and scalable platforms. We're bringing data from across our organization, curating it, transforming it, enriching it in order to provide more actionable intelligence and we leverage BigQuery for this endeavor. As part of our data-driven initiatives, we're consolidating both legacy and modern warehouses into a single enterprise data hub in BigQuery where the curated information and insights are available uh, for the company under a privacy and security by design construct, effectively democratizing the data to scale, allowing business units to leverage the power of our data. As part of our migration to GCP, our team is not conducting a lift and shift of the main corporate warehouses, but running a modernization exercise where all the data pipelines are rebuilt with the latest enterprise standards under SRE principles, bringing higher reliability and better performance. As part of this modernization effort, our team worked across the organization to ensure we strategically migrate only the data that is of high quality, relevant, and generates value for our business partners. As a result, we're not moving around 20% of the data, but deleting it because it's either obsolete, old, a duplicate, or not high qu quality or value. Currently, we have over four petabytes of data in BigQuery with thousands of active users in the system. All right, my last question is, what's your next big goal in the data analytics space? And are there any upcoming BigQuery features that you're excited about taking advantage of? Thanks, Brian. Well, our goal is to continue on our journey and deliver capabilities that unlock opportunities to elevate customer experience and our unique set of product and, serv and services. Um, as we continue on our path of being a leading software-driven organization that builds technology platforms that can power solutions for our customers and enterprise glo globally. Um, as relates to BigQuery futures that are upcoming, I will uh, pick the enhanced data masking uh, that enable varying levels of access to sensitive data based on the user role. It's an exciting combination of enhanced security and, pri and privacy 
that builds better processes and employee user experiences. Well, Jaime, I want to say congratulations on your successes. I'm looking forward to partnering with you on future projects. Thank you so much, Brian. Have a good day. Earlier this year, we introduced BigQuery Migration Service. It's a comprehensive solution that enables fast and low risk migrations from existing environments. Migration Service provides tooling for customers and partners through assessment, translation, data transfer, and data validation. We started with Teradata and Redshift, and through our acquisition last year of CompilerWorks, we recently added support for 12 more sources, including Oracle, Netiza, Vertica, and Snowflake. One of the hardest pieces of a migration is modernizing legacy business logic, like SQL queries, scripts, and stored procedures. BigQuery Migration Service provides fast, semantically correct, and human-readable translations of legacy code with no runtime dependencies. Translations can be run in batch mode or ad hoc directly from the SQL workspace. You might remember a few years ago when Google acquired a small company called Dataform. Dataform had built a service for creating scalable data transformation pipelines in BigQuery. We spent some time integrating it into Google Cloud and now are excited to announce that Dataform is available in preview. Dataform provides a SQL-based language called SQLX to define and manage data pipelines for preparing and transforming data for BI and analytics. You can also prepare data for machine learning or even for downstream systems. Dataform supports team collaboration and development best practices by treating your pipelines as code and managing versions in GitHub or GitLab. There's no charge for Dataform outside of the query execution and storage costs in BigQuery. A few years ago, we launched Connected Sheets, which lets you analyze and visualize and share BigQuery data from within Google Sheets. Connected Sheets creates and runs queries on your behalf, either on demand or on a defined schedule. And the results of those queries are saved in your spreadsheet for analysis and sharing. You can start your analyses inside of Sheets or write a query in the SQL editor in the Google Cloud Console and bring it into Sheets for further analysis. Previously, Connected Sheets was only available with the Google Workspace Enterprise Pricing Plan. And we're excited to announce that it's available to all Sheets users, including the free personal plan. If you're using BigQuery, there's no reason not to give it a try. The way that customers have asked to use BigQuery has gone beyond traditional data warehousing use cases. And one of these use cases is log analytics, where you're ingesting data from devices or applications and bringing it into BigQuery for analysis. To better support these types of applications, we've added three new capabilities, all now generally available. The first is a new native JSON data type that supports shredding of semi-structured documents into columnar store format. And this offers better performance as well as better storage compression over using a standard string type. Second, search indexes provide the ability to run what we call needle in a haystack queries on BigQuery data. Now, these indexes accelerate the speed that you can identify the rows that contain specific text patterns. There's a small start charge for the storage of the index but it really makes an amazing performance difference. Finally, the BigQuery Storage Write API enables our high performance ingestion, uh, streaming ingestion engine. Now we built this new ingestion service that can handle millions of operations per second without degrading query performance. While these features can be used independently, together they can be combined to build powerful log analytics solutions. One of the common asks we get is help with troubleshooting query performance. And today BigQuery provides details about query execution through our information schema tables. But this information can be sometimes hard to decipher. Query Inspector, now in preview, will provide additional tools to visualize and debug query performance, including a query execution graph. BigQuery breaks your query down into multiple stages, many of which operate in parallel. And the query graph helps you to understand the flow of data across these stages to understand where your bottlenecks are. Query Inspector also includes a single place to view and compare query performance across multiple queries. You can then drill down to take action on specific queries. 
In 2018, BigQuery was the first cloud data warehouse to offer integrated machine learning. And BigQuery ML lets you train, execute, and deploy machine learning models in BigQuery by using standard SQL queries. With BigQuery ML, you don't need to deal with managing ML infrastructure or worry about data security. Just like the rest of BigQuery, it's fully automated and serverless. I'm excited to announce the general availability of BigQuery ML integration into the Vertex AI model registry. The model registry is a central repository where you can manage the life cycle of your machine learning models. With a few lines of SQL, you can register your BigQuery ML models with model registry to version, evaluate, or deploy for online prediction. Last year, we launched DataStream, a serverless and easy to use change data capture and replication service. By integrating DataStream with BigQuery, you can now analyze business events in real time from your operational system. DataStream automatically replicates both schema and data from the logs of source databases into BigQuery. From there, you can run transformation pipelines or use BigQuery features like materialized views. We're excited to launch into preview a new built-in integration between DataStream and BigQuery. With this new integration, DataStream replicates directly into BigQuery through our high-performance streaming interface. And there's no need for additional services. DataStream includes support for Oracle and MySQL. We've recently launched a preview for Postgres, including Amazon Aurora and Google's new AlloyDB, Postgres-compatible database service. While BigQuery has focused to date on structured data like integers and strings, as well as semi-structured data like JSON, we realize there's a huge amount of insights that can be derived from unstructured data like images, video, audio, and text. To enable BigQuery customers to take advantage of unstructured data, we're introducing the preview of BigQuery object tables. Object tables provide a tabular representation of the objects in the Google Cloud storage bucket you get full SQL-based access to all the object metadata and can use these tables to leverage powerful built-in machine learning models. For example, you could use BigQuery ML to predict the likelihood of a rental house being rented, not only based on its location on the number of bedrooms, but the actual photos of the house. In addition, object tables allow you to create fine-grained access policies to secure the object data, just like you would in the other table in BigQuery. As you can see, we have lots of new and exciting innovations coming in BigQuery. I want to thank Jaime from TELUS for joining me to talk about their journey. And I encourage you to start your journey by exploring BigQuery capabilities through the BigQuery Sandbox or our free usage tool tier. Thanks for watching.